Hi, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our Daily Devotion for today, Tuesday, September the 15th, comes to us from the book of Psalms. We're looking at Psalm 145. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. A seminary professor I once knew was known for asking this question. What will you do when there's nothing to do? It's a good question. He was referring to our gift of salvation. The answer involves transferring the energy we are tempted to use to earn God's favor and salvation into loving our neighbor. Martin Luther stressed this over and over again. Another result of the new life God creates in us is the desire to thank God together with others in worship. God draws us into a deeper relationship of love, more so than our spouses or our significant others. When that happens, we don't analyze that love or even fully understand it. We just want to thank that person. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Let us pray. God, you who have loved me and drawn me into your love, I praise you for this almost inexpressible gift and will share this gratitude with others as I live my life in you. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you this day and every day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.